comprehend that people land are working on the scene, making life a little bit better for typing up and sending those letters and words. You know, we got it made by your secretary, some lemonade, people and machine, people and machine. They're quite a team, people and machine. Team. Word processing, a new concept in business communication. Reorganizing and redirecting sacred but antique office procedures and methods and turning waste into profit. Word processing can be a whopping success or a disaster and a great deal of its success or its failure depends on middle management. Management is the pivotal point. And that means you people who are watching this film. You and management are the crucial group in making this thing work. And in making it work, you're on the cutting edge of the newest form of business communication, where it's at and where it's going. Word processing is a way to transform ideas into written communications quickly and accurately through the use of automated equipment operated by skilled people using revised office procedures. If you think of it in these terms, that word processing today is to words what data processing has become to numbers, you can put it in perspective. Now, I know it's hard to approach new things, and anybody who says it isn't just doesn't know human nature. But you, in management, working with your peers and your staff people, are crucial. First, I'd like to have you meet some of your colleagues in management who've helped word processing work to their benefit. They're alive and well and ready to speak their piece. You know, I wasn't too keen on word processing when I first heard about it. After all, you have to learn how to dictate. And I was afraid I wouldn't get my work back in time. And I thought, how can I give the special instructions for some of these nutty projects around here? But you know what? This word processing thing really is pretty much what it's cracked up to be. Anytime I need something, I lift up the phone. This is Bill Scott, and I'd like to dictate a report. Would you please see me for special instructions before you type this project? I will now begin on the text. Budget meetings are scheduled. Before, I sometimes had to wait days before our division secretary got around to me, and usually I'd wind up writing it longhand, which took a tremendous amount of time. But now, if it's typing, I get my things back from the center in just a few hours. Thanks, Diane. That's pretty much the way management feels about word processing, but they're on the firing line. Management has always been the pivotal point. It's from them that the real bulk of business information pours. They generate the most paperwork. To accomplish this, to accomplish their mission, all management has to have continuing support and dependable service. I have to admit, if you are a traditional secretary to a particular man in his group, that man comes first and the group comes second. So these people were getting their work and they were getting it done well, but they were getting it after the boss when the secretary had time. Now, all they have to do is pick up the telephone, dictate into it, and they can have their project back the same day. And it also eliminates a lot of whose do I do first, whose do I do second, is he a higher level, is he my boss or isn't he? There seems to be a fear today uh, with word processing, centralizing it, that people cannot get confidential or personalized material. As you can see, standing here in our storage room, we have close to 500 different types of personalized letterhead, memos, different types of forms, so that that isn't really true. You can get confidential work and you can get personalized work. So, word processing means that your needs are better met, secretarial personnel are better utilized, Costs are usually lower, and best of all, for management, everyone gets good office assistance with not one, but two teams of professional office help. The secretaries in administrative support and the word processing specialists, both of them trained for their specific jobs. In many setups, the administrative support secretaries 
take care of the phones, the mail, filing, even some administrative tasks like compiling statistics, research data, gathering information for budgets. They can even dictate some of the routine correspondence for this department. Well, and I just stopped by to say thanks a million for getting all those statistics out on distribution. And because you did, I think maybe it looks as though we get the job. Neato, huh? Now listen, here is something I wonder if you'd handle for me. These, here's Barney, who has written us a note about a gal that I think sounds as though she really has talent. Maybe we could get a resume from her. So why don't you write her a letter and ask, tell her we're interested and so on. And these people... And the other team, the word processing operators, can concentrate on getting the typing out fast because that's their special task. So, the functional activities of the management people are greatly improved which is all very well, and that's terrific. But it isn't always, as we said before, that easy. The move to word processing requires some basic changes in thinking, and it requires the restructuring of existing office functions and long-standing habits of management and professional people. I think that you have to look at the entire psychology of change. People are afraid of change. They resist it because it re represents the unknown. It takes them out of the comfortable day-to-day -day patterns that they've been used to. They're going into something entirely new. They're going to be seeing new equipment, new procedures. It's going to remove one of the big personal status symbols that they have, the personal secretary. She's going into a team instead of that individual one-to-one -one relationship. The problem of change within business is management's problem. It's a problem which is a difficult one, a threatening one, because change means that some of the things you've been doing, some of the things you're used to, some of the ways you want to do things uh, are no longer possible. So you have to change. And this is a difficulty, this is a challenge. And yet, in many ways, it is more of a challenge than a difficulty because without change in business and industry, there's no growth. And with no growth, there's no opportunity for you to advance and to show how good a manager you can be. And therefore, I think that though this is the stuff of which your life is made as a manager, this is the paradox on which you're hung up, you have to deal with it. You have to be able to accept change and adapt to it however much you might in fantasy wish that you didn't have to change. Of course, one of the biggest problems, uh, the biggest hang-ups, as has been mentioned, is the secretary as a status symbol. Even if management people had a group secretary before, they would refer to my secretary or my gal. I'd hear young fellows at cocktail parties saying, my secretary, and I'd think, oh, come on, you're only six months out of college. You really don't have a private secretary. The days of the, quote, my girl, unquote, syndrome are really gone. I've had many executives tell me that they prefer beauty to brains. All that really tells me is that they can see better than they think. We've seen demonstrably, intellectually, that word processing is a good thing for everybody. Well, let's admit it, in our heart of hearts, we may not exactly be crazy about changing over to it. But probably the best course of action is to learn how to use it anyway. There are some direct benefits to those in management who learn to use word processing wisely. First of all, its success is a tribute to their flexibility and adaptability, and their ability to see the overall good of the company. Secondly, it's a way to get into top management. Because with this kind of space-age administrative support, the manager demonstrates his organizational ability and gains more time and the freedom to get involved in other important things. Community service, for instance. This can't help but increase his profile, making him a more valuable member of the company. So, just in terms of enlightened self-interest, word processing becomes a particular advantage to the person who wants to move up. So let's review some of the advantages of word processing to you managers and professionals. One, good secretarial support, often for the first time. Two, specialized support skills. Three, the ability to get work out faster and better. Four, high quality of work, clean, attractive documents. Five, errorless service. And six, more time to advance interests and career. Several recent studies on the psychology of management have indicated that the best managers are the more flexible ones. And that when they are confronted with change, change maybe that they themselves didn't want or will, 
they nevertheless adapt to it quickly. And this is certainly one of the primary qualities looked for by top management. Furthermore, in addition to the practical benefits we've already discussed, fast turnaround and lower cost per letter and higher quality, this system has a profound personal benefit for middle management in that it involves growth. And that means whether you want to grow within the company or are interested in some kind of lateral transfer or whatever, it is still to your benefit since it furthers the process of growth from which you can derive growth. Well, word processing to me means that when I get an idea, I can get it on paper and get it moving along. I'm not tied to someone else's availability. It means I can plan my day more efficiently and more effectively. I have more time to think about doing things properly rather than diddling with the mechanics of it. The administrative group in our office takes care of the mechanics very nicely, and I get back up. I don't have to take so much work home at night. I have more time with my family. And at the same time, my pay increases. And that's motive enough for me. How about you?